go ahead and restart. Our next speaker is Sergei Lakyanov. All right. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Sergei Neider for, for the kind of invitations, for the opportunity to present the talk here. So I'm going to talk about the quantum field theory, about the integrable quantum field theory, and see how integrability can help to perform exact kind of exact resummation of instantons. So here's an outline of my talk. So at the very beginning, I, I just the few transparency. I will remind you what's uh, the kind of general structure of the perturbative expansion, the quantum field theory, and quantum mechanics as well. And uh, the central subject of uh, will, uh, of my talk would be O3 sigma model. It's uh, in two dimensions. It's integrable quantum field theory. And uh, also the related model is so-called buchwastov lipatov model, which actually uh, was introduced, originally introduced as a mm, kind of effective theory describing the weak inter instanton interactions in O3 sigma models. So O3 sigma model passes the instanton solutions, and that model was proposed to describe the interaction. And then we'll see that, uh, uh, well, uh, you but by the, using some remarkable features of of this model, the principle uh, it can be used to uh, perform kind of uh, resummations of instanton and, before, and get the exact results for the O3 sigma. And uh, so that is a kind of intra, the intra, but it, perhaps it uh, it's to, it will take about half of my uh, talk. But then I will discuss certain. Uh, uh, technical details uh, concerning the host of Lepatov model, uh, including the Betanzas equation. So this is a model can be solved <coughs> by means of the Betanzas. And but the the main uh, kind of uh, tools uh, performing the exact resummation would be so-called quantum classical duality. And I will explain, and uh, I will try to explain how this duality, quantum classical duality, can be uh, in, applied to for resummation. Okay, uh, so uh, first of all, let me just uh, few, say a few words, very general words about the uh, form of perturbative expansions. And usually, in, in, in quantum field theory, we we have the perturbation theory it's, uh, provides us with a certain formal series, but this series is not converged. It's kind of symptotic series, diverge. And uh, in principle, together, well, symbolically, you can write that the, 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 if you study certain quantity, the perturbative expansions obtained by, within the perturbation theory. Symbolically, you can mm, describe the non perturbative effect by the terms like this. And in many, some situations, that these terms exponentially uh, small terms may be interpreted as a contribution of instantons, uh, so classical, uh, so Euclidean solutions uh, 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 of the uh, classical equations of motions. Uh, uh, sometimes, actually, they, they would be a, a result of uh, other type of uh, non-trivial settled points. But anyway, so they, that is more or less formal structures. Well, I can imagine actually more, it's not the most general, but it's, uh, 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 it's efficient for us. Uh, from the mathematical point, of, uh, actually the, 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 uh, uh, the theory of such as, mathematical theory of such as uh, expansion, formal expansions, would um, attract, agree, uh, attract attentions of, uh, uh, since starting the, the 19th century, and that was uh, some great development in, in the 80s. Uh, now it's called resurgence. Uh, uh, for physicists, it's more or less means the unifications of perturbation theory and then perturbative physics. For example, you can address the question, suppose, of course, these uh, uh, quantities, uh, are perturbative and perturbative uh, uh, terms in this expansion cannot be independent. And suppose you know perturbative terms, and what can you say about non-perturbative ones, for example, and vice versa. And in fact, in my talk, I will address the question, suppose you know somehow the perturbative and perturbative contributions, and what can we say about the exact function? And in general, you cannot uh, 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 answer this question. Of course, it's... Uh, 
uh, in general, uh, there's no answer, but with integrability, it can, you can do a lot. Well, and uh, uh, recently there was a great, uh, some development that was many works in different uh, uh, areas and different subjects uh, concerning such a type of expansions. Okay, but as I said, I will uh, discuss the O3 nonlinear sigma model. Uh, so what's, I'll just remind you, what's a nonlinear O3 nonlinear sigma model? So this is a theory that describes very simple actions. Right uh, here, and it's a vector that belongs to uh, the two-dimensional spheres. So uh, the, the the general uh, uh, theory of this type is called sigma models, and the whole the interactions, of course, come from the constraints. And, and it, it it looks like the free theory, massless free theory, but in fact it's not true because the the n is uh, uh, the vector n is constrained to belong the two-dimensional spheres. Uh, also, we have a coupling, some coupling F here, which is not, uh, of course, will not affect on the classical equation of motion, but important for the quantum theory. And uh, because the subject of our interest in the quantum field theory, for example, it's a, uh, like a Euclidean green function. So the path integrals of this form, so, or it's uh, any insertion, maybe local, unlocal, whatever you want, which is a functional of, of the field N. Okay, and uh, this uh, was observed a long time ago that the theory possesses many interesting features, which is, a, um, is very similar to the uh, gauge uh, properties of the gauge theory in four dimensions, in particular, uh, it uh, possesses the phenomenon of dimensional transmutations <coughs> or an asymptotic freedom. Uh, so the, the theory, classical theory, is massless, uh, so there is no any scales in this. Lagrangian, so it's a scale invariant and a conformal invariant, in fact, on classical level. But in the quantum level, the certain scale generated, and this uh, would be denoted by m, which is, can be understood as a mass of the particle, so inverse correlation lens. And uh, it builds from the uh, kind of, uh, it's appeared through the transmutations of the pair couplings, use here G, G the bare com some combinations, G0, it would be my bare coupling, and the lambda is a cutoff, right? And because of, uh, and uh, uh, in the quantum field theory, you should equip the theory with the cutoff, and the, the result, the, the, the new scales, the physical scales appear. All right, and in fact, uh, the, uh, I will consider the theory, uh, well, the, 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 the main, uh, so, more in the subject of my interest in the theory in, in, in the segments. And uh, naturally, we can impose, uh, it looks natural to impose kind of periodic boundary condition, but in fact, uh, you can extend this, consider more general class of boundary conditions, which is kind of quasi-periodic boundary conditions, which is uh, uh, written this way. So it's periodic and uh, let's say third direction. So the, 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 the boundary condition, of, of course, broke the original symmetry of the Lagrangian, which is O3, uh, down to U1. Okay, and uh, the, the quantity of my interest for, for, uh, would be the energy, and the energy in finite volume. Uh, so the, for the theory in finite segment, so uh, 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 we can introduce the dimensional uh, uh, variables R, which is a, a length of the uh, 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 of the um, space-time, of the space measured in the unit of correlation lens. And uh, just uh, from the very general uh, basic principles of the quantum field theory, we can deduce that the quantity, uh, which is dimensionless, I would consider dimensional quantities, energy, multiplied by R, which is dimensionless, admit the regular uh, kind of serious expansion in terms of the running coupling cost. Where a G is a running coupling constant depend on the uh, 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 world sheet scale, R, right? So it's uh, defined by this equation, which is a definition of the running coupling. And uh, 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 the renormalization group tell us that the, the, the energy is expanded in the regular, at least it, it, it meets the power series expansion with the coefficient dependent on, on the twist. Right, and, and I will, of course, we can set k equal zero, then we can just set a set of numbers. What do you mean coupling constant? Uh, 
Well, I'm not quite uh, I'm not sure that I understand your question, but uh, you know, the, the, this coupling is just the, 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 in, it's clear that this is a function of R, right? It's the, the only dimensional variable R. And, but uh, what the realization group tell us that uh, just the structure of these expansions is just a, a very general structure expanded in terms. So if you write in terms of R, uh, for example, then you get the logarithm, double logarithm here. It's not uh, general. Well, that, that's only, uh, it's just a perturbative expansion, and each coefficient can be obtained perturbatively. All right, uh, but in fact, so this is a theory on the cylinder, but in fact, let me start with the theory on the, on the plane, an Euclidean plane. More, furthermore, uh, 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 I will con consider the plane as a computified plane, so Riemann surf uh, Riemann surface, uh, um, sorry, um, uh, the, 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 the wall sheet now, let's let it be, the spheres, and, and uh, also the, uh, the target space is the spheres. And these observations, uh, using this observation, you, you can easily, mm, well, and following the uh, similar work of Bela and Polikov, you can easily construct the uh, solutions of the Euclidean equation of motions. Basically, it goes along the following lines. So first you consider the, uh, the spheres, the target space here, as two, it's a target space, you consider the as a, yeah, the Riemann spheres and, uh, and, uh, and map it to the plane with the infinity. And this is a, uh, 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 this map is described explicitly by this formula. And then the conditions, the Euclidean equations of motions for uh, the instantons defined by the morphicity conditions. Then the functions double, we consider the functions of the Euclidean <coughs> complex, uh, complex coordinate. It's a glomorphic function, right? And uh, the solutions of this equation are rational functions, uh, which depend on parameter a and b, also and c, and these parameters are so-called instanton models. So for d, we can choose any numbers in b, it still be solutions, right? And uh, in q, the number of poles, which is equal to the number of uh, zeros, it's defined the topological charge of the solution. Uh, it's a, and uh, of course, a similar can be done for the anti-instantons, not only instant, but uh, W, we can consider the, uh, this is a, a Riemann Gilbert, a, a, a Riemann equations, right? Cauchy Riemann equations, but you consider anti glomorphic functions. It's also solutions of the classical equation of motion and will provide uh, the only difference now that you should put, put everywhere bars. So that's just the story just repeat. Okay, and but inter, it's interesting. So the instanton has very simple form, but uh, it's also remarkable that uh, not only the instanton, but the, you can perform the uh, path integrals in the Gaussian approximation. You can calculate the determinant uh, in, uh, 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 determinant of the basically uh, Laplacian operators in presence of instanton. And this work was very so, uh, solved work of Fatih Fralo Schwartz. In particular, they shows that in the Gaussian approximation, where you include the, not only the classical one, but all the, the Gaussian fluctuations around the instanton configurations, the contribution of uh, Q instantons uh, given by this formula. And remember the correlation functions here, it's a general correlation O its insertion. So what you need to do, calculate the value of, of the functional all an instant on solutions and then integrate over the models with a certain measure. And uh, the Gaussian, the most important, uh, so these terms you see looks like um, uh, this is uh, independent on the positions of, uh, of instant on models. And uh, so if now we let's consider the case when uh, there's just identity operator, forget about any insertions. Now and then and consider this the partition functions, then you can easily recognize in, in this formula the, uh, so if you sum over the whole instanton, the result would be the grand canonical partition function for two-dimensional neutron column systems, right? So that this formula actually describes the potential energy of interactions of the particles, two sort, you have two sorts of particles, A and B, Right, which is a kind of so we can assign the let's say positive charge for A and negative for B, then they repeal 
positive charges and negative charges. You kill each other, but the, the particles with the opposite sign will attract. And this is a plasm, to the maximum plasm. And uh, in, in fact, uh, so the, 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 the parameter M here can be uh, uh, related to the Berg, uh, to the coupling, somehow it's a constant. But what's also important is that, that in the natural units, uh, 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 the, the, the temperature here is equal to one natural unit shade in the system. So that is a common gas. So you see that uh, the conclusion, which was uh, uh, due to the work of Atiyev, Frelov, and Schwartz, um, that and uh, the con uh, instant on contributions, it's like in contributions of uh, uh, can side with at least for partition functions, it's, uh, just uh, can be uh, described in terms of the Coulomb system, dimensional Coulomb system. Okay, but uh, the, the few words are important here. Uh, the, the, it's, it should be important to emphasize the following. Uh, 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 that, uh, uh, let's consider just one particle contributions. Again, uh, for the partition function, it's one, but you can easily see that the integral one particle contribution actually diverge. When a, uh, this integral is divergent, it's logarithmically diverge. When a close to b, then uh, the, the, the integral diverge. And uh, what does it mean? Uh, so when a close to b, you see that this function is a, it's a, the, 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 the difference between A and B can be understood as, a, an, as the size of instant on If, for example, A equals B, there is no instant on If A close to B, then the instant on localized just in the vicinity of, of the point A. Right? So a, 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 a divergence uh, appeared when A close to B, the pole close to zero, uh, uh, and uh, this divergence is called small instant on divergence. And uh, uh, so, in particular, as a result, uh, we have certain, and uh, let me emphasize that this divergence is very different than the usual Travalli divergence, because, uh, which is related to renormalizations. And uh, for the result, some quantities, uh, uh, some quantities of three sigma model, possess a kind of anomaly scaling, in particular, the topological susceptibility possess certain we, it's, it's not scale, uh, it is uh, possess certain uh, divergent uh, part, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, unusual, uh, maybe unusual. And, but uh, but uh, what's important then, uh, 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 this uh, instant on divergence, small instant on divergence is, uh, uh, it's um, completely, it's uh, um, exponentiated and it's uh, completely uh, under the control. And uh, so in principle, you will see the effect only on the very little. Anyway, <coughs> okay, uh, okay, now let's, uh, uh, let's now uh, take a closer look on, on the partition functions again, having mind this uh, 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 small instant on divergence, then I said that is a partition function. This is grand canonical partition function for, for the Coulomb system under the temperature equal to one. But uh, then you can easily recognize in this formula that the, these partition functions can be written uh, in terms of the path integrals over the uh, free Dirac fermion, massive D Dirac fermions, and this expansion, if you consider the path integrals, which involves the two-dimensional uh, Dirac fermions uh, with the mass, and if you uh, uh, will calculate, try to calculate this path integral just as you're doing the, uh, by the expansions in terms of M, you can consider the M is small, then you will reproduce this sum exactly. It would be the, it, it's a well-known fact that the free Dirac fermion actually can be equivalently uh, understood as the plasm of the part uh, uh, under this uh, temperature, the unit temperature. So, uh, so this is a, a conclusion. So this, uh, this way uh, you see how the uh, uh, theory of fermions appeared in, in, in the context of a three sigma model. Uh, but uh, uh, as I already said, uh, uh, that uh, this is uh, what is written here. It's only contribution of instant on. Uh, you can write the same. You can repeat all this uh, for the anti-instant ons, and you get the same. Of course, the, the result would be the same. Uh, so for this reason, to describe the anti-instant on, you may introduce another copy of Fermi's, right? 
And uh, of course, uh, uh, now the question how we uh, uh, clearly then there is no configuration with simultaneously glomorphic and anti-glomorphic. There is no such classical solutions which contains instant both instanton and anti-instantons. But nevertheless, when you do the path integrals, you can consider the field configurations where the instantons somewhere here, for example, and and anti-instantons somewhere in the sun. <laughs> So separated with the huge distances, and of course uh, uh, you cannot just the physically the the they the should contribute uh, uh, contribute uh, to to the path integrals, uh, uh, but in the inspired there is no classical configuration, and you need to uh, actually take to account the fact of kind of interactions of instant on and instant on. Uh, uh, and how to do this, how to introduce, and the, the idea was actually proposed by Buchwost of Lipatov, they introduced in 1980, they introduced the, the theory which described, and they argued that the theory described the instanton, anti-instanton, and weak instanton, anti-instanton interactions, and the, the, the theory is formulated this way, so you have uh, two copies of the fermions, two flavors of the fermions, sigma run plus, plus, plus minus here, and but the effect of the interactions, small instantons interactions, given by these full fermion terms. Uh, okay, so that is what the model which was introduced by Bohost Lipatov. But now let's just think about this model from the uh, uh, perspective of the quantum field theory. Uh, uh, in general, if you think about, let's say, the if you would like to consider uh, formulate it in, um, as a normalizable field theory, that of course you uh, e and this action is kind of bare actions, but the normalizable action should, in principle, we should include the additional contour terms, which are consistent with the symmetries of this uh, theory. And in principle, you can imagine uh, so we, you in uh, for a normalized Lagrangian, you need to include the uh, contra terms, uh, 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 which is the first contra term just described the master normalizations, and another contra term that uh, describes the just self interaction of each uh, fermion species. Okay, so in, in from the very general point of view of the quantum field theory, uh, we we should actually the host of Lipatov model is a model which contains two dimensional parameters g and g one. And uh, and also characterized by a scale mass scale m, but uh, for me it would be more natural uh, to use the another parameter, not not g1, and uh, uh, trade this parameter by the uh, critical exponent kind of exponent nu, which describe the uh, mass renormalizations of. of uh, uh, mass renormalizations. Of course, nu it's uh, maybe treated for given uh, renormalizations. Here, nu is can be. Uh, 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 new is a certain functions of G and G1, but uh, I'm I prefer to use this parameter as independent. So it's a two parameters family, but uh, the family, but in general, right? Uh, what uh, what was uh, actually uh, observed by Buchwald uh, and that this model is integrable for the case new equals zero. And in this case, there is no only finite mass normalization. There is no uh, divergence the, the, the diagrams corresponding to the uh, normalization of mass uh, finite. Well, uh, no, the, the contribution, the contribution to the mass normalization finite. Uh, so you see the new equals zero. It means that uh, only the finite normalizations can appear. And the only divergence here is uh, related to it's a vacuum divergence of vacuum. Uh, uh, energy and uh, exactly this is what we need uh, because uh, and in this case um, uh, uh, this divergence uh, actually nothing to do uh, we uh, then can be identified with the small instant on divergence so as new uh, equals zero uh, uh, then uh, the theory possesses the small instant on divergences uh, the, the the specific uh, logarithmic divergence and then uh, can be which is uh, can be interpreted as a small instant on divergence for this reason the subject uh, the, 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 the we uh, will need not general host of lipata model but the case when new equals zero or and this is exactly in terrible situations okay and uh, then 
the next uh, step uh, is the formulate the theory uh, uh, the use the the machinery of the bosonizations and the th is it's um, starting from the work of uh, uh, Coleman and Mandelstam we know that the fermionic theory in one plus one dimension so or two two dimensions Euclidean dimension can be understood as the uh, uh, bosonic theory and like a sine Gordon model can be equivalently described as a massive Turing model and, and the same happened for the buchhorstov lipatov model gen uh, even general buchhorstov lipatov model and the statement that now it can be bosonized in terms of two bosonic fields phi1 and phi2 uh, and uh, and uh, uh, and with the interactions here i use a1 a2 as the parameters and uh, then the uh, this uh, two, this two parameter uh, families new it's a, our parameter g is another parameter fermionic theory uh, and this is the relations we have also two parameter a1 and a2 and this is a relation between the critical exponent new and the four fermion couplings g. Uh, okay, and the mu parameter mu is related to the mass scale. All right, and uh, next, uh, uh, but uh, as I said, uh, the, we interested in the case when mu equals zero, then, uh, yeah, then uh, 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 the parameter a1, a2 are not independent, they, uh, 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 they sum equal to two. Uh, in other words, you can parameterize a uh, and a1, a2 by the uh, by the coupling delta. And the sum clearly the, the sum of these two numbers equal two. So delta would be the parameters. This is a case what we actually are interested for. And uh, and uh, and then you see uh, um, and uh, uh, for let me draw your attention that uh, the coupling the VK, uh, G, the free fermion coupling, the, the fermion, four fermion coupling G is proportional to delta. The difference of A2 and Y is proportional to delta, right? So V coupling expansions, expansions, uh, so the V coupling expansions in terms of this one, right? It's uh, uh, just the usual perturbative expansion, expansion in terms of this parameter delta. So n delta equals zero correspond the free fermions. Uh, and uh, let's see, but uh, suppose now delta, uh, and delta, uh, uh, at, uh, uh, and delta small to zero, it's a weak coupling regime of the theory. But let's see what happened in, in uh, so, and can easily check that delta equal, so you have, uh, so G, the, delta is just a parameterization of G and, uh, uh, delta equal one correspond to the point g equal to infinity. It's a strong coupling. Okay. In principle, <coughs> uh, uh, and then the question is: suppose we uh, till the, if delta uh, smaller than one, that we have a cosine cosine. But what happened with the bosonic action when delta greater than one? It looks like for the bosonic theory, it looks like nothing particularly happened except the cosine be became the cos. Right, so the, but this theory, the theory, the interaction is, is real. So Lagrangian looks like it correspond to the unitary field theory, right? And uh, so, uh, so this way we can continue to the domain. So delta from the weak coupling domain with delta smaller than one to the uh, strong coupling domain, at least in the Lagrangian in bosonic version, you know, no problem with this. But it was proposed in long time ago by Alyosha Zamolochikov that this action actually described the dual descriptions and uh, dual descriptions uh, for the uh, uh, sausage model, sort of nonlinear sigma model, which is given by this action. And uh, the parameters, uh, additional parameters here, lambda is related to, to this delta. And now you can easily see that if delta now goes to uh, infinity, then the, the, the lambda goes to zero, we end up with the uh, with, uh, uh, O3 sigma model. In other words, uh, and uh, this is exact descriptions. In other words, what we are doing here, we start with the host of Lipatov model with a small instanton, uh, with a weak instanton interactions. Then we consider the move it to the strong coupling regime till some point, which is infinity. It's, of course, it's. Uh, it's depend on how you define your coupling. 
some point, till this point, and then at this point, actually, the fast transition happened. It can be shown that the, the theory passes the fast transition, the particles with the metal, infinite number of particles with the metal, massless particles appeared in this point, and then what you're going to do is just to continue around this point and return back to this. And the, my statement, of course, you're somewhere in, 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 uh, from another sheet of the, in, the, in, uh, in the space of interactions, but uh, when you continue delta to, in, uh, to infinity, it corresponds formally substitution here, corresponds g equals zero, and you return to the original point, but on another sheet, and from the uh, behost of Lipatov, you came to the Oslisium moment. And this is basically the idea of resummation. And uh, so another word, so what, uh, what we are going to discuss, so first we are trying to understand how to describe the O3 uh, Buchholz of Lepatov model, how to, let's say, calculate the, the, the energy in the finite volume, and, try, and then try to perform these continuations. And uh, that's not, usually it's not easy to do. Okay. And uh, so let me now turn to the technical part of my talk. And uh, first, uh, I will few, say a few words, what can we do with the uh, Buchholz of Lipatov model. So here are the uh, actions. Uh, I treat them. And uh, the, uh, now, side of the kind of randomized uh, field. Uh, also, we consider the uh, twist boundary conditions. All right. Uh, so the theory defined on the on, on the finite, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, so this is our, uh, like, an, uh, x, right, x, x plus r, this is our space, this is our time, maybe Euclidean time, in the case of Euclidean time, you have a cylinder, kind of cylinder, then the field would be the, uh, not single valid function, but it's a section of line bundle, but, uh, anyway, uh, 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 then you, well, uh, uh, the propagators for the, the theory is just uh, given by these simple formulas. And then what can you can do is just perform the perturbative expansion doing the perturbation theory. Well, again, the, the subject of our interest is dimensionless energy. So energy, first of all, we, let's, let us to make uh, simpler uh, uh, subtract. Uh, of course, when a radius a size of the circle, uh, a size of the space-time became very large, the, the energy develops certain extensive behavior with a certain density. It's convenient to subtract this density and then build a certain dimensional combination that would be the subject of all. So that quantity I'm interested for. And then you can do the perturbative expansions, the weak coupling expansions, uh, F0, it's a, well, for F0, we just have two copies of fermions, and F0 is nothing but the free energy of the relativistic one-dimensional gas with the uh, complex, uh, uh, complex chemical potential, which is related to the twist parameters, uh, twist of the field. So it's a basic, it is a kind of basic formulas, uh, which is probably familiar to you from the exercise. Uh, uh, so this is a first, and the first order you have the diagrams like this, and the second order diagram like that. And principally, you can do these calculations and see just to show you how it perturbative. Uh, so this is in perturbative terms. This is the first perturbative term. In the case k equals zero, there is no this contribution is identical to zero. So just a relative relative correction. You see the scales. So what would be the corrections uh, for this from the second order, and some curve. Just describe the low and high temperature behavior. Well, anyway, so that is a kind of calculation from the first principle, uh, from the path integral, uh, which is uh, useful to have at hand when you check uh, uh, the, the consistency of, of, of all calculations. But uh, as I said, the Buchholz of Lipatov, uh, it was demonstrated in the original seminal paper of Buchholz of Lipatov that. The, the theory possesses the Betanzas solution. Here is how the uh, Betanzas equation looks like. So you have the roots T and U, tau uh, and U, and this is a, just to, to give you a smell of the solution. So, it's, um, uh, uh, so you, uh, the, the uh, green crosses, this is for vacuum, how the vacuum is filled uh, by the Betanzas roots. Uh, for the vacuum, you are, all, you are real, this is green uh, crosses. Let's correspond to you. 
And if delta is positive, then the theta is uh, real. This is blue dots. Uh, if delta is negative, then they are complex. Well, anyway, so this is some solutions, and the, and the equation can be solved. This is uh, how the vacuum field by the beta roots. And once you uh, solve the beta and this equation, then <coughs> You can construct, uh, extract, uh, and uh, uh, n here it's a number of, it's a kind of uh, uh, regularization parameter. It's a number of, of um, uh, bare fermions which fill the vacuums. Um, and uh, uh, so the, the, once you solve the beta and this equation for finite n, then uh, keeping taking the sufficiently large chain, you can construct the scaling function with at least some approximation for this. But uh, uh, the, uh, this is uh, one way to, to solve the equation, but actually uh, if you're interested in only the scaling function, it's more useful to, uh, uh, to uh, transform all this beta and that equation to the so-called nonlinear integral equations, and uh, then the, the scaling limit can be performed. Uh, uh, directly performing the nonlinear integral equation and would describe the continuous theory as well, right? And so, and the nonlinear integral equations, this again, it's rather technical stuff, but it just to give you an idea how the equations look like. So this is a, a system of two equations, which depend on the uh, twist para or the uh, of the fermion twist. Uh, so, in the integral equation, nonlinear integral equation, there is a certain kernels. Well, the formula looks complicated, but the, the result you can, as a result, you solving the equations, which is represented by the continuous line here, and you can compare with the, let's say, solutions of the beta and this equation, the algebraic solution, algebraic beta and this equation, and for sufficiently large n, so for example, for n equal 500, you see that the, the all these two approaches will must say, leads to the same result. <coughs> okay, so now the, uh, so here is my uh, uh, kind of uh, 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 immediate conclusion that, uh, that uh, nonlinear integral equation first is consistent with beta and thus equations. Also, uh, you can check that it's consistent, uh, it, it reproduces the uh, uh, perturbation theory normalized perturbation theory. Also, I should mention that the, the, the first uh, nonlinear equations was proposed when the work of Salor, Robert Salor in 98, but uh, it was, uh, his equation was uh, different than this one. In particular, the equations looks very strange because it was singular at delta. In, in the case of the pre-fermion point, the kernels in the equations was singular, and it, in spite of the, but, uh, but remarkably that, in spite the, so it's, it's it, it, very difficult to, to, to use this equation, this, uh, Salur equation, for, to, to study the, let's say, perturbative domain. But nevertheless, the, the, uh, it can be shown that the, the, the Salur equation is actually equivalent to this one. It's happened in uh, the nonlinear integral equations, maybe uh, uh, um, the, same quantity, uh, the, the same quantity can be described through the different which it looks differently. But anyway, and uh, all of this looks uh, just an uh, uh, independent check that kind of uh, that all uh, what we are doing here it makes sense. Uh, but uh, for us, for further uh, uh, discussions, uh, it would be important then numerical uh, uh, values of, of, of this uh, uh, energy, right, dimensionless energy, actually shows the excellent agreement with the so-called uh, conformal perturbation theory. Conformal perturbation theory and basically it's short distance expansions. So uh, R, when R equal to uh, is small, then this uh, is just a picture for it. And uh, this is a, a exact, this is, uh, um, uh, uh, you see that for, for small R, it's a result of conformal perturbation theory, it's uh, uh, perfectly matched the exact solutions. And uh, uh, for, for me, it, it would be uh, 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 crucial this observation, and I'm going to discuss, uh, explain you what's the conformal perturbation theory, how it works here. Basically, uh, let me start with the sections. Mazuric version of the host of Lipatum model, and conformal perturbation theory is just a perturbation 
uh, consider this, uh, uh, this term as a small, right, and expand the path integrals, the, the action in path integral in terms of this mu, right? Of course, uh, mu, uh, so, and, uh, uh, so your zero order approximation, you have just uh, uh, three uh, uh, Gaussian fields, which is massless, so which is conformal field theory, and then per troop within, in the vicinity, uh, by uh, these operators. Uh, uh, and uh, so, of course, the mu is uh, dimensionful, right, proportional to mass, and the, the real parameters and the expansion is R, which is a dimensional combination of uh, mu is the, uh, multiplied by R, which makes this combination dimension, so R is your parameters of, uh, uh, for the conformal perturbation theory. And, uh, and the, the, the last point I should emphasize that uh, how the mm, dependence of, of, of the fermionic twist appeared in, in, in the conformal perturbation theory. And in bosonic descriptions, you see, uh, it's, uh, uh, and remember that uh, uh, K plus minus, uh, it's a parameter which is described, uh, uh, which is related to the boundary condition to, to the twist of the fermions uh, uh, and the, um, yeah, to the quasi-periodic boundary conditions. In the bosonic descriptions, that, uh, this uh, numbers, this uh, quantity appear in a very different way. It comes from the fact that the uh, potential here, it's periodic, actually have uh, two periods, two cosines here, have uh, periods, and, uh, and like in the particle in periodic potential, uh, you can choose this uh, eigen state uh, for the Hamiltonian eigen, uh, eigen uh, states uh, uh, to be the Floquet solutions characterized by quasi-momentum. So here the, the story is very similar, but since we have a two, uh, two periods, uh, right, we have a two, uh, our quasi-momentum is actually two-component vector. And uh, so the state, you can always choose the state, which is uh, transformed under the Z-symmetry, transformed like, um, so it's, it's analog of the Floquet solutions. And then parameter K1 and K2 are related to the fermionic twists. So the, the, the story is very similar to what we have in the sine gordon model and Turing model relations of the uh, uh, um, quasi, uh, uh, Turing model with the quasi-periodic boundary conditions and, uh, and the quasi-momentum in the sine gordon model. <coughs> All right, anyway, we also consider the... Uh, Sectoral neutral sectors. So neutral means that the theory phi is a periodic. Uh, now you see the bosonic fields are periodic. It's correspond to the uh, uh, any additional terms here would just interpret it as, a, as the U1 charges. Um, but anyway, so uh, the, the just the the the, the 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 perturbation theory here. Uh, the, the structure of the conformal perturbation theory looks like following. So we have just a um, as r equals zero, we have some um, something uh, which is minus c k over six. It's kind of effective central charge. Uh, somewhere I already write it, right? Where is c k? So he, c k here, right? Something like this. Uh, uh, so in particular, when uh, there is no twist, it's at, uh, c is equal to three, uh, two equal to two. This is just manifestation of the fact we have a two bosons, three uh, bosons, and then we have a Terms, which is a kind and you maybe it's a little bit unusual logarithmic term, but this is exactly due to the small instant on divergence. You can see these terms even for free fermions exactly. You see it doesn't depend on couplings. So these terms appeared in free fermion theory. So if you neglect, if you set delta equals zero, then the theory equivalent to the two direct fermions, massive theory, and these terms already appeared. And then you have regular expansions uh, with uh, these powers and depend on on, on coupling a delta, which is a uh, parameters of our expansion uh, when uh, perturbative expansion. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, so in principle, what we, we should just uh, expand into the section, perform the integral, and uh, this doesn't look very uh, simple, but nevertheless, in, in, in fact, the all practical calculation is. It's, it's actually it's more convenient to work with the so-called Fatiev model, another model which appeared now. Uh, so it's a model which is, has contained the three fields, right? Basically, the Lagrangian looks like this. It depends on three fields, phi one, phi two, and phi three. It's kinetic energy, uh, kinetic terms, 
uh, and uh, and depends on parameters a1, a2, and 3 the sum of them equal to 2. And it, it take, if you take a look closer in this formula, then you immediately recognize then when alpha equal uh, when a3 equals 0 or alpha, uh, which is related square root of a, uh, equal to 0, then you end up with the Buchhorst of Lipatov, integrable Buchhorst of Lipatov theory. This is why this model is related. Uh, but uh, uh, the, if alpha, th if a2 is negative, a3 is negative, then alpha 3 is pure imaginary, then the potential is real, I call this, the, all the potential real, I call this regime unitary regime, and uh, if a, uh, all a1, a2, a3 are positive, they uh, uh, call this regime symmetric regime, because the reason is that uh, uh, if you write this as a form of exponent, uh, a sum of exponent, you immediately see that the, the theory, uh, the action is invariant with respect to simultaneous uh, permutations of the field and the couplings. Uh, so it's a, com a completely symmetric with respect to this, like in this polynomial A1, A2, it doesn't matter what is the A1, 2, 3, how it looks like. And uh, and uh, why I use this because uh, uh, for in in the symmetric symmetric regime it's more simple for from the point of view of the perturbation theory because in this case the potential actually bounded in unitary regime for example we have exponent here and the potential unbounded that you know, you cannot uh, strictly speaking the perturbation theory is not work. Well, it's well defined in the situation for the unitary regime. But in symmetric regime, the, the, clearly the, the potential is bounded. You can just expand it. Uh, and, uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, well, what we need to do is just to send, send uh, do this calculation, then send alpha 3, uh, alpha, uh, three equal to 0, and you get the uh, Buchhorst of Lipatov model. And also, uh, uh, so it's important that in the case of... Uh, in symmetric regime, we have a three fields. For this reason, now we have a three quasi-momentum, three, uh, three, uh, three periods, different periods of the potentials, and we have three quasi-momentum. In principle, depend on three numbers, k1, k2, k3. And uh, uh, as I said, that uh, 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 potential, you can neglect this potential. In the case of symmetric regime, you can neglect this potential uh, uh, for in the limit when r goes to zero, and in the, the result you get uh, the theory with a certain central charge, effective central charge, as uh, if all k equals zero, then the central charge equals three, just three uh, both the field, three both the field. Okay, uh, but performing the calculation, what you need to do, write this uh, 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 conformal action, which is basically this one, uh, and then the perturbations, right? And perturbation involve four exponent, and the, then you start to expand this, the actions, for example, the the, the partition functions and the then the, the logarithm, and you get the certain expansion, then average, and uh, the result you get something some rather complicated integrals, uh, which is kind of two two dimensional Coulomb uh, gas integrals, and in principle doing these integrals you can calculate the coefficients and the regular power series expansion. This is convergent expansion, by the way, because the potential is bounded. Okay, and uh, so, of course, uh, the, the most, uh, the first terms, that, uh, for example, in the second order, in this order, uh, this, uh, this is zero because expectation of value is zero. And uh, the, the first order appeared, uh, the, the first non-trivial order is actually fourth order. So you need to expand it to four integrals, uh, at least eight integrals here. Okay, so that looks a rather complicated story, but nevertheless, the integral can be done. At least it can be written in terms of a known function, elementary kind of elementary functions. And, um, namely, uh, 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 and for this purpose, I will not, I'm not going to discuss how to do this, but just formulate the answer. And I need to first introduce the the and the certain functions, which is I call, which is actually the solutions of so-called Liouville equations, it's equations. It's equations on the on the Riemann spheres, three spheres with the three punctures, with the certain behavior of of the solution and the three punctures. Also, the North poles. This is a, a z. It's a variable it's like a Riemann sphere we map on the plane. Z equal to infinity corresponds North poles, and the condition that there is nothing at North poles is regular point means the Liouville function 
as this asymptotic. So this is a kind of boundary condition. Uh, this is a kind of asymptotic conditions imposed on this field, and uh, the solution should be regular. And uh, there is well known fact that the, the solution exists in unique, and uh, actually it can be expressed in terms of G deeper geometric functions. There's some explicit expression. I don't want to write explicitly here. But anyway, if you uh, have these solutions, you can, for example, it's not, not it's, it's uh, well, numerically, it's no problem with this. Uh, then another object which is important, would be important for us, it's called uh, some, which is uh, some combinations. Actually, this is a constant, and all dependence come from here, from the denominators. And uh, the important fact for, for this uh, uh, functions, multivalid functions, is that is, as a1, a2, a3 equal to 2, it's uh, transformed like a uh, quadratic differential with respect to Möbius transformations in the sphere. So Möbius transformation, using the Möbius transformation, you can actually put, uh, transform any point in any desirable positions. You can use this. Okay, and uh, so here is the result of first order perturbation theory. So here is the result for the E1, terms E1. It can be written by this integral. So you, you take these uh, solutions, and as I said, it can be expressed on top of Jupiter geometrical function and integrate over the spheres, whole spheres with this quadratic differential. Uh, and uh, this is a uh, first non-trivial corrections. And uh, already from this formula, it may look uh, that the result is rather complicated and cumbersome, but, but nevertheless, uh, so the question how to generalize it, uh, how to, what should we do for the next order terms? And uh, the answer was proposed in my paper, and then with the paper with Volodya Bajanov. Uh, so the, the whole, to get the whole result, what you need to do is just uh, remain the, all the formal most remain the same except the, this equation. You just slightly modify the equation, add additional terms. Uh, namely, add uh, uh, these terms, which is proportional perturbation parameters mu. This is basically a, a parameter of perturbations, right? So, and uh, uh, in other words, when, and when you do the first order perturbation, you just neglect these terms and get the first order. And then, if you would like to get the second order, you need to actually consider the, the storm of perturbation for, 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 for this partial differential equation. And then you can get the second term and so on. And more generally, right, what you need to do to get the final example, you need to solve this equation, which is known as the modified singe gordon equation. Once you have the solutions, then you can get the energy. And uh, the solution exists and unique, and you can actually perform numerically the calculation of the solution. Of course, it cannot be represented in terms of Jupiter geometric functions and any other. Uh, okay, so basically that is an example of such a remarkable, the fact is looks rather interesting because, and uh, that uh, it's an example of so-called quantum classical correspondence. So, in other words, we starting with, the, we study the integrable quantum field theory uh, and, and then, actually, the calculations of the physical quantity in the quantum field theory are due to the solution of classic and partial integrable theory, classical partial differential equation. And basically, uh, this is partial differential equations, it's point my defined since Gordon equation, but you can actually perform the conformal map by, by this one and properly transform the field uh, and bring this equation to the standard since Gordon form. Right, so that is, a, and the, this equation is clearly it's an integrable equation, example of classical integrable equation. In other words, you have a, something in quantum field theory exactly can be exa uh, expressed in terms of, of the uh, solution of classical field theory, integrable field theory. Okay, and, uh, uh, but uh, uh, just uh, say, uh, what, uh, uh, say a few words about this equation, because we perform this transformation. As I said, first of all, uh, the, the point, uh, in the uh, you can always, using the Möbius transformation, you can always send this point to an desirable position, zero, one, and infinity, and consider, uh, uh, and consider this uh, as, um, like, like this one, and then this uh, uh, map, right, this conformal map, it's nothing but Schwarz-Christoffel map. And uh, uh, so the transformations, uh, actually, uh, the Riemann spheres here, it's a kind of, uh, so the half plane of the Riemann sphere, which corresponds to the half of the spheres, maps to the triangle by uh, Schwarz-Christoffel mapping. 
Another half sphere, uh, half sphere maps to the another triangle, and we should identify the angles of the triangle. Basically, what you need to do, and then the angles, right, uh, these numbers A1 and 2 are related to the angles of triangle, the sum of A1 plus A2, A3, it's correspond to the fact that the sum of triangle, angles of triangle equals to 180 degrees. Uh, and, and so, in other words, what you need to do is solve, uh, take this uh, domain with these identifications and solve the uh, equations, the uh, Singe-Gordon equations, and then express in terms and, and then energy express in terms of this well gamma is some, well some explicit formulas, some some functions here. Okay, uh, so what uh, what I said that uh, conformal perturbation theory in the symmetric regime. Uh, in the symmetric uh, regime, it uh, transformed the solutions of the sinich gordon equation of this domain. But then uh, uh, the natural, well, it looks like there is no problem with continuation with the, uh, with the parameter. You can choose now A3 negative and see that in this case, the conformal mapping here would be just a mapping to the different type of domain. And uh, we discussed, uh, we, uh, we studied this case and shows that, uh, at least we present the numerical and the analytical evidences that uh, all, in spite of the conformal perturbation theory, doesn't work in, in, this, war, uh, in this domain. Nevertheless, the descriptions, uh, the duality still works in, for this domain. In the, uh, but uh, finally, uh, what we need, not, uh, we need on the boundary, we need A3 equals zero when uh, uh, this case uh, which corresponds to in the host of Lipatov regime. And again, uh, uh, again, the story can be repeated here, and they see that in the case of the host of Lipatov model, the domain uh, looks like this, and uh, still uh, the, the uh, energy can be expressed in terms of, uh, in terms of the solution of the gordon equation with a certain asymptotic condition in both here. Uh, 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 okay, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, what is uh, important? Uh, uh, how to uh, uh, this can be proven? Actually, the statement can be proven, and it can be proven the following uh, way. Uh, because uh, uh, just consider formally consider these equations, and using the this is a classical integral system, so we can use the machinery of the machinery of uh, the inverse scattering method and. Uh, calculate the same the quantity, this quantity, right? And proves that this quantity can be obtained through the derive, re-derive the nonlinear integral equation from the classical uh, inverse scattering method. This way you just prove that uh, uh, the, the solutions of the classical problem uh, reproduce the result of that on this equation. Okay, so then, then, uh, finally, so the idea is now, uh, so, uh, um, uh, so we can find this wet on those equations. Uh, and so this is our action, but it works for domain, for the weak coupling domain, right? So it's the host of Lipatov regime. It's uh, when this cost actually cosine because delta is smaller than one. Um, and uh, in this case, you can uh, uh, prove the uh, uh, equivalence of these two approaches with the wet and nonlinear equation. And, and um, uh, 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 Singe Gordon. Uh, but now the question is uh, why don't we just try to apply this duality for the domain delta greater than one, right? Of course, you cannot continue the nonlinear integral, integral equation, but it looks like not, nothing particular happened when, in the domain uh, for the quantum, uh, uh, for the Singe Gordon equations. In this way, so the resurgence, so the resummations of trans series expansion of three sigma model here in this picture will actually reduced to the classical problem. Uh, and you can just uh, use the uh, uh, classical, uh, since you have a classical integrable uh, system, so you can try to uh, calculate or do the calculations. And here is the result. Uh, so this way we can uh, now in domain of three sigma model domain, so returning to, so making this trip. So here we describe a nonlinear integral, one nonlinear integral equation, which is a uh, equivalently can be obtained uh, through uh, the Singe Gordon equation. Then we continue, of course, nonlinear integral equation will not work anymore, but, uh, but the 
a classical uh, a quantum classical duality will still work there, and we can re-derive the, the new, obtain the new integral equation. This is how it looks like. So the kernel again, it's the, uh, the kernel depends on. Uh, it looks like this. You can, if you're familiar with this matrix or three sigma model, then you see the, the express in terms of the uh, matrix element for for the three sigma model. Okay, and this is a numerics. Finally, this is a numeric, and it done. But since you have a uh, you have a, uh, explicit descriptions, nonlinear sigma integral equations, then uh, you can calculate numerically at least. Uh, and this is a function that's written as a function of Ryan coupling constant. Uh, remember, uh, so for example, the, the this point would correspond to the uh, scale ten minus fifteen. Right, and this would correspond to uh, MR equals to five. So here you see the 15 order of magnitude, and uh, and all of this perfectly match the perturbative expansion and uh, long distance expansion, Lusher corrections, so-called Lusher corrections, and looks uh, reproduce all known facts about the three sigma model in this case. So basically, this is the end of my talk. So and just to summarize. So I just discussed the nonlinear integral equations and the host of Lipato model, and this model describes the small instantons, uh, 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 weak instanton interactions, in instant instanton and instanton interactions. Then the, the most power, the, 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 the technique, the, the, the tools which we use for resummations, is so-called classical quantum dualities. Actually, this uh, comes from the very old paper, starting with the Dory Tati and uh, double work with Володя Бажанов and Sasha Zamolochikov of the conformal field theory, then some, sometimes it's called ODEM correspondence. Um, and uh, so you see that the, um, uh, first uh, using this correspondence, you can prove the uh, uh, duality from the case of Buchwosta Plipatov model and then continue to form using this duality, you can continue to the O3 instanton. Uh, to to a three nonlinear sigma model using so explicitly performing this uh, continuation. Okay. Thank you. I don't know. I give you a Toda field theory, or I give you bull of Dodd, the Sinch Gordon, whatever. Uh, so it's, uh, it's algorithmically, so can you algorithmically tell me what is the classical uh, field theory associated to it, classical, uh, classical differential equation associated to it? Um, yeah, uh, this is very good questions, and uh, of course it's, it's kind of natural questions, right, because, and uh, at the moment uh, I don't know the answers, I don't know, but um, uh, but at least for a certain class of theory, and uh, the first of all, uh, kind of Toda class, right? The, 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 for, for, I would say the Toda theory is associated with uh, affine Toda, I'm talking about the dimension of affine Toda. That, of course, it's, uh, this, this, it's known, it's, it's well known. Uh, and then, uh, uh, at some point, actually, the motivation, my motivation to study this example was to find this, uh, to, to just uh, demonstrate that this quantum uh, classical duality actually works for the nonlinear sigma model. And indeed, this is uh, just explain, uh, this is example of O3 sigma model. It can be done for O4 o sigma model for deformation, so for sigma model. More by, generally for deformation of principal chiral field, I guess. So now we have some, many examples. Uh, uh, and uh, it looks, it seems to me that it's a general phenomenon. So, but uh, at the moment, I don't know, uh, I don't have a, a kind of regular procedure, how to, and it would be very, very interesting to, to find it. it. It just means that you kind of reduce the quantum field theory to the classical one, because here I just talked about the very simple quantity, just n in the finite volume. But, I, uh, but in fact, it can be done for any, not just for ground state, but it can be done for any energy, for whole energy spectrum, you can find the similar duality. Not not just a single state. It's, it just shows that this is a not just a, you know uh, um, 
uh, of course, uh, if you have some functions, another function that, the, uh, for example, the the the, the Bessel functions appeared in, <laughs> in, in in an expression of many uh, many 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 physical quantities, it doesn't mean that you necessarily uh, talk about the, let's say uh, the free particles and the quantum mechanical particles, right? But but what's important here that uh, you actually describe the whole spectrum. And the duality works not just for a single state, but the whole spectrum. And uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, that means that in principle uh, you can formulate the uh, solve, try to solve the classical. There's hope now to to uh, solve the reduce the problem of classical and integra quantum integrability to the classical one. But of course, it's a very rather complicated. It's more complicated setup than usual. Yes, I have a very general question. Is there any insight to why there exists quantum classical correspondence at all? So why should quantum, integrable quantum field theory be reduced to classical? How integrability is important here? So anything about this? Um, well, if uh, the, the answer, of course, uh, if you have, uh, if you would have such an insight, that means you can predict. But the, the basically, they the can uh, say the following. So, it's, so uh, if you have a quantum field theory, right? Uh, quantum mechanical, uh, quantum field theory. Uh, by the way, it may be uh, good to say uh, that uh, these uh, uh, relations, this duality, actually exists not only for quantum field theory. Actually, the people, the kind of uh, weak versions of this duality was known for a while, and in particular the uh, it's related to Penleve, huh? right? The people know that the, the classical uh, equations, Penleve equation, which you can thought about the, the Newton equations or with time dependent uh, forces, uh, they are somehow related to the quantum mechanical problems. Uh, to the spectrum. And they, 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 so that is a, there are many, many, uh, actually, if you start to think about the integrability, you can find many uh, examples of such a duality. As a, uh, in, in, in the language of quantum field theory, this duality can be formulated in uh, the following. So, uh, if you have a quantum field, if integrable quantum field theory, you said you have uh, you, said, you have said you 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 have some a set of integral of motions, right? It's operator which you commute with a Hamiltonian, and and uh, basically you 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 have said you have a, a set of eigenvalues, right? And and it characterizes the state. So, uh, so you you state characterized by the 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 set of the integral of motions. In the classical point, uh, in the classical theory, you have the classical equation of motion integrable, and still there, and you can you have the solutions equations of motion. And in these solutions, you can calculate since it's integrable, you can calculate the classical the value of conserved charges in the solutions, right? For given solution. And my statement duality said that the classical integral of motion, uh, the value of calculated solutions, it's coincide with the quantum integral of motion. It means that for each solution, so the equations, classical equation, you shade the state in the quantum theory. Right? So there's correspondence between the classical solutions of certain equations of classical and the state. Why it happened? Uh, so that is basically the the how. No, no, no. Uh, we are talking about the uh, classical. Uh, we, we have equations, and the classical equations. We calculate the uh, 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 for for given solution. We can calculate the value of conserved charges. But no, 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 no. Different because it's not quantization because it's exact relations. You know. So the statement then you have a. Uh, Quantum integral of motion, which depends on trivial on coupling and strong coupling regime, we have a classical, and uh, you see that the how how the couplings appeared in this theory. The coupling here appears through the geometry of the domain. You see the geometry of the domain. You should integrate the class find the classical solutions of classical equation of motion in certain domain, and the, all the cup. The, 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 usually, it happened that the the geometry of this domain define the quantum couplings. The overall scale of the domain, it's a kind of randomization group scale, right? It's a mass. Uh, it's a, 
it's a, you see this is a, the overall scale. Uh, so this is different equations, and uh, this, uh, you, you solve the classical equations, but, and you get the value of calculate. So, so for example, you solve this equation and calculate the value of integral uh, of motions, right? What, what kind of, what's the integral of motion? How you build it, for example. So you need to find the sort of uncontractable loop here on, on this domain. For example, you can uh, integrate like a uh, loop like this and uh, uh, integrate the flat connections, right? And it gives you generating functions of integral of motions. And my statement that this uh, uh, the, produces the classical integral of motions and it coincides with the quantum uh, eigenvalues corresponding to the state. If you if you looking for another state, then you should introduce the additional singularity. The main would be the same, but you should introduce additional vertices, like vertices. And, uh, and the, the position and the, these vertices uh, would be, uh, with this singularity, you have a new solution, you get an uh, integral of motions uh, for the excited state, let's say. So the, the but equations very different, you know, this is Sinch Gordon town, that was a, uh, uh, I don't know, where is this? This is this equation, it's right to the host of Lipatov in the fermionic picture. Yeah, just okay, thank you. Thank you.